All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. No argument from me, baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion, there he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster, what a title reign it has been, but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here, we'll see if we get a new champion, or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch gloves. Actually goes to the ground. This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the octagon tonight. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Right hand upstairs. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. 
Connects with a right. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to steal. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Big kick land. Now connects with a right. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. And they separate. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Big call from first man. Now we get back in range. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Right hand upstairs. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And he is back up to his feet. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Big leg kick land. Counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, single collar tie here. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. So really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He has to miss the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Good punch land. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. Lunges forward with a left there. And they separate. It's a nice back and forth action here. Got the single collar tie. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Ten seconds to go. Lee's got the full mount. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power. 
that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He does it for his full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Oh! oh. Over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Lee gets back up, no surprise there. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Well, turning defense to offense here, blocks the strike and then counters with a straight punch. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Great punch. All right, he closes this one. Nicely done with the trip there. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, what a punch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Well, he's really starting to land up. Oh! Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big left hand there. Both fighters throwing heat now. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Powerful leg kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Body kick now by Lee. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Big body kick land. Oh, nice right hand. Another big kick down. There's that patented single. In 
a very close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, heck, he lands. He's hurt. There's no kill on that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Three, two, three. Beautiful kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He's going after the head. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? You gotta check these low leg kicks. Single collar tie now. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice head kick. He gets caught with that punch. Knee is blocked. And they separate. Three minutes to go in the round. Both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. that tie clinch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's going to strike him. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Blocks that strike. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish, 
Great job. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the Godfather would be proud. Strong lot of work here, staying busy. Both fighters back to their feet now. Big punch lands to the middle. Back and forth we go. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Just out of range with that strike. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh! He's out. He's done. He's done. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Oh, right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, 